First semifinal in the 2018 GNAC Women's Basketball Championships goes to Montana State Billings beating Northwest Nazarene 76-69. Here with us, head coach Kevin Wooden, Lexi Prevo, and Rachel Kohler. Coach, first of all, congratulations. What, a, what an incredible contest and an effort by your team tonight. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it was, it was a, a great win for us. Uh, you know, it was just hard fought. I just, um, I thought we got off to a good start. The first quarter was fast paced and uh, just, I think it ended up tied, but I thought both teams were playing well. And then we really had a nice second quarter to go in uh, with that eight point lead. Um, you know, I thought our, we got a great play off our bench from Rachel and Hannah. Um, our starters were locked in. We were, uh, we just defended them a lot better tonight than we have in the past. They're, they're a very explosive uh, team. And so the first half to score 44 was, was great. But at the same time, uh, yeah, I was a little concerned because we, we talked about maybe not trying to get into a high 80s type of game with them because they're, they're, they're used to it. And maybe we're, we're maybe one step lower. We usually win in the 70s. But uh, the third quarter was just hard fought. I thought. Uh, Albrecht, I think, came in for them. We had a hard time. She had six or seven points right in a row, it seemed like, and uh, they caught us. And But uh, again, uh, just like uh, last night, I think uh, we stayed poised and uh, we made some plays out, down the stretch. Uh, you know, Lexi hit a great big three for us. Uh, Alicia got some baskets around the basket. Uh, Riley played well. I mean, our whole team played well. We had great energy off the bench. And in the fourth quarter, uh, you know, we just made enough free throws there at the end, but defensively we got the stops needed and I thought we just guarded them well. They're so explosive uh, with Tubbs and Walker and then Jardine inside and among their others, but uh, we really just worked really hard and I'm just uh, really proud of our team. Uh, Rachel, I just want you to talk about a, a key point in the game there, uh, and then you actually took the lead by one, and then Lexi hits a corner three, and then you hit your second three of the season. It was wide open. Uh, you had to be feeling good. Just talk about that shot in, in a six-point swing that really set the tone for you guys the rest of the game. Well, we see Lexi make huge shots in any given game, and she's always practicing them, always makes them. If you're on a team with Lexi and we're doing shooting games in practice, you're usually going to win. So I think everyone on this team has confidence if it's in her hands and she's casting it. Like, I'm not sure I'm going to act like I'm getting the O board, but I know that's going in. But um, And my shot, I don't know, I just was feeling myself and I let it go. And I think that was 90% confidence and 10%, I don't know what else it was. but. I think um, the 10% was your mentor, you know, she just hit one. Uh, when we have uh, new players join our program, usually they're freshmen, we don't get a lot of transfers, but uh, we got a great one here in Rachel, and so I put Lexi in charge of uh, Rachel, she's her mentor, so maybe it was just, hey, she did it, now I got to do it. Uh, Lexi, talk about um, just the play of the freshman Hannah Collins, she comes in and um, gives you 34 minutes season high for her and, and, and then you was really trying to disrupt you guys with that press But she looked like a senior out there the way she handled it Yeah, that's exactly what I told her in the locker room just a few minutes ago She did not look like a freshman out there She had so much confidence and we all have so much confidence in hand and she played a heck of a game Just took care of it Passed. She made some great passes to rage and to inside just had a really great game really proud of her. And Lex you're a four-year senior on this team uh, title game. This is this is similar to a couple years ago when you guys made it to the title game and of course made it to the regionals. Um, you've been here before. Uh, what are your thoughts right now uh, prepping for tomorrow night's matchup? We're just really excited. I think we're hitting our peak right now. Um, we're just playing our best basketball and we're just going to give it all out tomorrow. So we're excited and we're going to stay focused and watch the game tonight and be ready for tomorrow. Preference of who you see tomorrow between Anchorage and SPU? None whatsoever. We're just happy to be playing. I um, mean, they're both great teams. Obviously, UAA would have the you know home court advantage. Uh, they played each the SPU and UAA played each other. It'll be interesting to see how they do tonight. I mean, both of them have won decisively in their first two games. Um, they both beat us twice. We just uh, against SPU the last time we played them, we really played well. Except uh, the third quarter, we we got last. We had a, I think an eight point lead at halftime, and and they really took it to us in the third quarter and we lost. And then at Anchorage, uh, you know, we played a good game up here. Um, we had a three, I think, to tie it with a couple minutes left. It was you know, a good performance there. But uh, I think, uh, I know we're gonna be there. And I, I know we're gonna play well. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited, especially for our seniors. Last question, 
you guys came into this week as the uh, the number eight in the West region rankings. Azusa Pacific goes down tonight to Point Loma in the Pac West. Any urgency there knowing that, you know, regardless of even that result, you're fighting for your playoff lives in this game? I don't think so. I don't think even most of my players even knew that that happened. I didn't tell them. Uh, I didn't want them to, to know that. Um, we have to, there's a, I mean, we're just playing, you know, to, to win. We know if we win, we go on. Um, Point Loma did a nice job. They beat their one seed. Um, we can't get into scoreboard watching, etc. And uh, we don't need any more extra pressure. There's pressure anytime you're playing in a championship game. And anytime you make the GNAC tournament, at least it, the years that I've been here, um, we've made it more times than not. Every year, the six teams that are here are very closely, um, you know, as far as talent levels, and they, they battle each other. So um, it's just a just excited about this opportunity. We know we'll have to play a great game, and we're just going to be focused on uh, the one opponent. And it'll be either Alaska Anchorage or SPU facing Montana State Billings in the championship Saturday night, 730. Watch it on ESPN3 or the Watch ESPN app. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.